welcome to the second installment of ABC University, uh, sponsored by Virginia Western Community College. My name is Allison Dooley, and this is my awesome coworker, Becky Kramer. And we are here today to talk about how to prepare for that first day, those first few weeks of college. Uh, Becky and I have actually been running orientation sessions all summer long, helping new students of all ages kind of figure out what you need to do to get that smooth start to your year. So there's lots of new beginnings mm -hmm. that are coming up with the start of the semester. We have two weeks left before classes start mm -hmm. at Virginia Western. And so I've seen a lot of posts on Instagram and Facebook about people getting ready, all the stuff they're buying, mm -hmm. getting all of those things lined up. And we're definitely excited after working with all of our new students that came for orientation. Mm -hmm. um, we're so excited to have everybody here in the fall. But some of those students weren't able to come to orientation mm -hmm. or were out of town. So we wanted to make sure that today we um, give you some tips or things that you can do to help make your first semester successful. Okay, great. So really, before school starts, we're going to kind of break this down into some things like when does school start, before school starts, what can you be doing, and then what can you re really be doing the first week and those um, first couple days of classes. So the one big key thing I tell all students who come through our orientation session is the first thing you want to do is really print off an updated copy of your schedule. So we've had a lot of students who came in and started working with their new student advisors as early as April and May, and we don't go in and make changes to students' class schedules, but it's really important that you log into your system and take a look and make sure that everything looks the way that you think it should and kind of give yourself an updated copy to print off because you really wanna start off confident. So one of the things uh, we wanna make sure that you do is know how to get that. So by going into your student information system um, that is in your my vwcc link from our web page you can actually go in and print off an updated list of your classes so the first view you're going to see is the list view of your classes it's going to tell you all of your teachers the course descriptions um, when the class starts and ends if it's in the entire semester so those are really important things that you need to know as a student but one thing I really love about that link is at the top in bold, it says click here to view your textbook. So that's a question we get asked a lot is how do I know which textbooks I need for my class? So we've made it really easy for you just by looking at your class schedule, you can click that link and view your textbooks. The other link that I think is really the best one to use on the first day of school is that weekly calendar view. So you can actually take your schedule and flip it by hitting the radio button that says weekly calendar view and it's going to have your classes laid out in that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday uh, type of format. I love to see students carrying this around on their first couple of days because it's so much easier to use. Um, printing off your schedule is really not that hard to do. Um, in the YouTube uh, show links that we're going to have, we'll have an information a link about how to get to my VWCC and to print off your class schedule. So if you can't print your class schedule from home, feel free to stop into Chapman Hall and one of our awesome student ambassadors will help you print off a copy to carry around if it really makes you feel more comfortable. So Becky and I spend a lot of time on the first couple of days showing students around and making sure everybody gets where they're going. And we see a lot of people, don't we Becky, who have their phone out and they're zooming in and walking around you can definitely do that but having it on paper will feel you make you feel so much better and kind of referring to the textbooks that is a great way to figure out what textbooks you're going to need so Becky when can students go to the bookstore and get their textbooks so if you are purchasing um, your textbooks out of pocket now is a great time mm -hmm. to go in and get those textbooks if you haven't already um, it is, we just were over there a few mm -hmm. minutes ago. It's not very busy. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect time to go and um, have lots of space and lots of room to make all those decisions because it is going to get really busy starting mm -hmm. on this Wednesday. Um, on the 14th, mm -hmm. it is um, the first day that you can order your textbooks online if you have financial aid. Mm -hmm. So if you have financial aid and you want to use that to purchase your textbooks, you can do that starting Wednesday on the mm -hmm. 14th on our website. Now, if you want to do it in the store mm -hmm. and you have financial aid, you can't do that until the 19th. Um, and it'll be really busy that day. If you mm -hmm. are the kind of person that feels much more comfortable going to a store and looking at everything, um, that's the best option for you. Um, but if you do like to do things online, I know Allison and I love to shop mm -hmm. online, 
And um, it's a great time, if you can do it online, to really be able to make your choices as far as, do I want to buy this used, or am I going to buy it new, or am I going to rent it? Mm -hmm. That's a great time um, where you can kind of feel good about taking all the time to make those decisions. Because when you're in a store, you feel kind of, um, you want to do it quick so you can get out of everybody's way. So definitely um, do whatever is best for you, but Mm -hmm. those dates are the 14th. Um, for online and the 19th for in the store. Mm -hmm. So one thing you mentioned about books, um, when to get them, we want you to go ahead and take action or make a plan. But one of the key things we also tell students is you really want to get your books before classes start. So um, my son is actually starting college here in the fall and I'm so excited to have him here on campus and I think it's going to be great. And one of the students kind of mentioned to him, hey, you know, maybe you don't need that book for that class. Well, what we always tell students to do is if it says you need the book for the class, get the book for the class. Um, the kind of key thing with that is just because that student didn't use their book doesn't mean that you won't want that book. Also, um, if you wait to get your books until after classes start, you always run the risk of um, having it run out in the bookstore. And I know Becky and I taught college success skills for a number of years, and we had reading assignments the first week of class. So it's really important that you go ahead and get your books from the bookstore ahead of time and you're ready for the first day. One of the other tips we often tell students is don't open that book until the first day. Take it to class and if it's wrapped up or you have any software or anything in there, make sure that you keep it all together because if it isn't what you need, you can actually go back and return it. But once you've kind of opened it up, especially if it's something like software, you, you've kind of you, you've kind of set with that. Now, Um, Kind of moving on, we talked about printing off your class schedule, getting your books. We like to encourage students to find their classes in advance. So just this morning, as I was walking around campus, I ran into a student who was walking around and trying to figure out where his classes are. And this is a great thing you can do to really start your school year off with confidence. I know that anytime I'm starting somewhere new, I really love to know where I'm going in advance. So what we would suggest to you is that you take your class schedule and you can go to our website and get a copy of the campus map and really walk to figure out where your classes are going to be. I think it's pretty easy to find your way here around campus but you know I've been here for almost 10 years so there are I know where everything is but you may not know where everything is and you really want to know um, where your classes are going to be located so I would suggest taking that campus map walking around and kind of walking your schedule maybe spotting a couple places to park you know really getting that getting yourself comfortable with that. So um, Also, when I said knowing where to park, one of the questions we get asked most often is, um, do you need a parking pass? And the answer is no. You don't need a parking pass here at Virginia Western when you are driving, commuting to school. Uh, We do want to remind you that you should only park in spaces that are designated um, for students. So what that means is there's no sign that says that it's for faculty, staff, maintenance, or police. If you don't see a sign that says it's for faculty, staff, maintenance, or police, you can pretty much park anywhere. And there's lots of parking available on campus, but we really want you to anticipate those delays on the first week or so. Get here early, find your parking, and really start with that calm and confident attitude. Now, um, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you can actually ride the Valley Metro free here at Virginia Western um, with your student ID. And Becky will talk about how to get your student ID here in just a minute, but it's a really great way to um, maybe save on some gas, be green, you know, keep, keep, get, keep your money in your pocket. But riding the bus, um, if you live in Roanoke, is a great option. Uh, The last thing I would kind of mention to get ready before school starts is checking your email. So we communicate with students by email. Um, Sometimes your email will tell you to go and check the message center or something like that, but that's how we really communicate with our students. So I would suggest that before you start your classes, you've got your schedule printed off, check your email. Your teacher could be trying to communicate something important with you before classes begin. Um, You could also have a couple things you needed to wrap up and we wanna make sure that you know those things. So check your email for any last minute instructions so you get that smooth start. So Becky, what do you really think people should be doing that kind of that first week, those first few days to feel confident? So you mentioned um, it just a few minutes ago, but I wanted to talk about it also because we have so many exciting things going on Mm -hmm. at Virginia Western right now. 
we are getting ready to open our brand new STEM building. Mm -hmm. And so um, nobody is even allowed in there yet. No students are going <laughs> through there. So it's going to be open for um, the first week of classes. So mm -hmm. with that being said, there's a lot of construction going on mm -hmm. still. And there are roundabouts and lots of orange cones. So <laughs> just going along with what you said about making sure you have the time and giving yourself the time to find parking mm -hmm. and get here early, um, just kind of know that those are going to be things that you're going to see if you haven't been on campus this summer some of you may have like Miss Dooley mentioned set everything up in April and haven't been back since so mm -hmm. make sure that you are expecting that um, and just give yourself a little extra time especially that first week um, so when you're coming and you're walking around campus you're not going to hear any bells of course <laughs> um, but you will want to know exactly when classes start and make sure you get there on time mm -hmm. um, we see a lot of students kind of running to classes um, all frantic on the first week of school um, because maybe it took you longer to get here or mm -hmm. you didn't know where your class was. So just be prepared um, and give yourself that cushion so that you can feel confident when you go into class and you know um, what's happening for that day. And I do want to throw out just really quickly on that first day, um, we're going to have student ambassadors and faculty and staff will be out in droves on the first day really welcoming people with their Virginia Western t-shirts and just asking so um, if you need help finding anything. So sometimes Becky and I will see the same person walk by us two or three times and we'll say, do you need help? No, I'm fine. And then we finally go, hey, where are you going? We're, we're here to help. So don't be afraid to ask questions. That may be the difference between you starting off your class on time. Um, so there's always people here to help and um, just kind of point you in the right direction. Right. And if some if a student that you're around looks like they know where they're going, ask them. They're really <laughs> friendly. You'll find that everybody is really helpful mm -hmm. um, always on Virginia Western's campus. But really, during those first couple of days, Definitely. we want you to feel comfortable. Um, so you mentioned also about um, the Valley Metro bus and that mm -hmm. students can ride for free if you have a Virginia Western ID and that terms sticker. So this term would your sticker would say fall 2019. Mm -hmm. We are going to be doing those IDs all the first week of um, class. So we have served probably about 500 or more students um, at orientation mm -hmm. this summer, and we have already given them their IDs mm -hmm. and they've gotten their pictures taken and are already ready. Um, with that um, for the first week but we still have a lot of students that will need to do that when they mm -hmm. come so um, Natasha Lee who is the director of student um, activities and works in our student center on the third floor she has a great schedule for mm -hmm. students to be able to get their IDs that first week so it's a Monday through Thursday 8 30 to 5 you can get your student ID and then Friday 8 30 to noon and she did also mention that if you are not able to come during the day, that she is available to do those um, at night by appointment. So mm -hmm. um, you can contact her, and um, if that is necessary for you to be able to get your ID, she can help you with that. So when you get your ID, all you need is your um, Virginia State ID or your driver's license and a copy of your schedule, whether that be printed um, or um, just on your phone. Mm -hmm. So either way um, is fine. So we definitely encourage you to get that your first week because that is how you'll get into the fitness center. Mm -hmm. If you want to use our awesome fitness center for free, mm -hmm. you'll need your student ID also to check things out at the library. And of mm -hmm. course, um, which is really popular with faculty and staff, you can get a lot of discounts mm -hmm. at area restaurants um, with your student ID also. So make sure to take care of that your first week of class. The other thing we like for students to know is that you're really focused on getting all of your books and your textbooks and all of uh, your computer things that you need for your classes. But we do find, um, and like Allison mentioned, we did teach class together, mm -hmm. um, a college success skills class. We do find that even though they may, not, may have their books, some students come unprepared with really the obvious things like pencils, pens, paper. Mm -hmm. So make sure you kind of come with that loaded up in your bag or your backpack, whatever you bring to school, so that you have everything that you need for that first week. Mm -hmm. um, you want to make sure you don't get stuck without a pen on your first day <laughs> of class when you need to take notes. Um, but also one thing that we really want students to do is make sure you have a plan for how you are going to map out all of your assignments and obligations mm -hmm. and all of the things that you need to be taking care of in school for mm -hmm. all of your assignments and projects, but also all of your outside of class obligations like work and family or friends. 
so that you can really plan how you're going to get all of your assignments done. Mm -hmm. We find a lot of students put most of their things in their phone, which is great. Allison loves to use her phone for all of her calendar appointments, and I do as well. But I also like a paper copy so that I can really plan out what's going to happen um, in the weeks to come so that I can plan better how I'm going to spend this week. So definitely Mm -hmm. make sure that you come prepared with a plan because you're going to get a syllabus for each class that you're in that week. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure that you write down all of your assignments and papers and projects that you have um, in order to get all of those things done. Mm -hmm. Because if you're in five or six classes, which a lot of our students are starting their first semester, you're going to be juggling a lot of things. So make sure you have a way Um, to manage all of that so Mm -hmm. that you can know what your deadlines are. The other thing that we really want to encourage students to do, and I know this is a little stretch for some (laughs) people, it definitely would be for me, um, not for you because you're a talker and you love, (laughs) you know, to be around new people, but we really want to encourage you to chat with your instructors and make a goal for yourself to sit in front of most of your classes and really show them that you're interested and engaged Mm -hmm. um, in what they're teaching and um, talk to your classmates. Um, Try to make some friends that first week. Um, Mm -hmm. We want you to have a really exciting time while you're here. So definitely put yourself out there. Definitely. Make it a goal for you Mm -hmm. um, to um, make some friends and get to know your instructors. Mm -hmm. So the other thing that we really want um, students to know is that something a little bit different about college, and we talk about this in orientation, um, but we'll mention it here as well, is that instructors may be packing up all their things after their 50-minute class or Mm -hmm. hour and a half class and be moving on to the next class and so it seems like they may not want to sit and chat with you or talk to you about all your questions but that's not the case that just Mm -hmm. means they are maybe booking it over to the other side of campus to teach their next class that starts in five minutes so we really want students to know that Take advantage of your instructor's office hours. Mm -hmm. They're going to tell you when they are, and it's a great opportunity for you to go and touch base with them about, um, you know, if you have any questions Mm -hmm. or anything that you need help with or maybe something you want to tell them, something you're enjoying about the class. Um, That's your opportunity to make that connection with your instructor and get some extra help. So definitely um, put that in your calendar as well. Um, so that you can know when your instructor is available to help you with anything um, that you need. Mm -hmm. The other thing we want you um, to really strive for your first semester is to get involved. We have so many um, opportunities to get involved on campus, and um, Allison's going to tell you a little bit about um, an exciting opportunity we have Um, coming up in a couple of weeks to welcome you all. Yeah, definitely. So we chatted about all the things you can really do to prepare for classes and getting started. But once you're here on campus, we really want you guys to get involved. So there's an awesome event that we do each year. It's called the Warm Welcome Club Fair. And it's really our way to welcome you here to campus and to show you all the things that are available for you as a student. So um, Wednesday, September 4th from 10 to 2 p.m., we're going to be holding our annual Warm Welcome um, event. And it's going to be in front of the Student Life Center and kind of right there in front of that brand new STEM building. They've built an awesome area. We call it the Compass. It's got a great uh, uh, grassy space for us to have events and things. So the fair is going to have a shaved ice truck, hot dogs, as well as campus resources for students, clubs and organizations. So it's really a great way to come out and find out um, what you need to be doing, what's available to you so that you really can get involved. So if you want to sign up for intramural soccer, how do I do that? Um, All those types of things. So it's a really great event for for you to um, get involved in and kind of figure out what you want to do. One other thing I always like to throw out um, is that if there is a club or an organization that you don't see that you really think we should have. You can always talk with Natasha Lee and she'll tell you the rules about how to get your own organization started. So that's a really way, great way to get involved is to create something and invite other students in with you. So maybe if you're not the outgoing person, <laughs> that might not be for you. But definitely if you're that quiet person, get involved. We've seen a lot of students uh, get involved with some of the great activities here on campus and that'll really keep you connected to the college. So kind of wrapping up, we've chatted about these things and As always, we want you to know how to get in contact with us if you have questions. So there's always the 24-7 helpline. The number is 1-855-874-6690. Once again, it's 
874-6690. And that um, number is answered 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you have questions about anything, they can um, help you with it. And if they can't, they'll get it routed to the, the right person. Also, um, we're going to have a lot of links available for all the things we kind of talked about today. So a map of the college, um, of the bookstore link, the Facebook page to the college, how to get the My VWCC help things that we talked about are all going to be included in our YouTube um, show notes. So it's a really great way to find the information that you're looking for. So if you have any questions, that's how you're going to contact us. And Becky, it's been really great hanging out with you this summer. We've had an awesome time at our orientation. So if you're coming to orientation tomorrow, we're looking forward to seeing you. That one's all full, but if you didn't get a chance to um, meet with us, um, definitely refer back to this and let us know if you have any questions. All right. Thanks again, Becky. Bye, guys. Bye.